Goldfinger, you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Good day. Go, go, Goldfinger? Please? Please? Uh, I changed my mind. I'll talk. I'll, t I'll tell you anything you want to know. Okay? I'll tell you what my real name is. Goldfinger? Please? Mommy? Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to Trey Passer's Saturday Reviews, episode 93. Uh, I only had time to review one movie today. I had to go out earlier today. I was gone for most of the day. Um, a little work thing. But um, I had time to review a movie, the movie that I've actually been wanting to see, actually been wanting to get for a while. I got it a few weeks ago, and there's a nice chance to revisit it. I saw this a while ago, and I originally thought this was directed by um, Alfred Hitchcock, but it's not directed by him. It's actually directed by Billy Wilder. And it's based on an Agatha Christie play, okay, and it was actually brought to the director by uh, one of the stars of the movie, Monina Dietrich. And I'm talking about 1957's Witness for the Prosecution. And it's Ty Tyrone Power, Monina Dietrich, Charlie Lawton, Elsa Lancaster's in this, John Williams, and uh, I'm trying to think who else is in this. Uh, Ruta Lee. Uh, but I think that's about it. But basically, the story. Uh, uh, it takes place in England, and it's basically about a character named Leonard Vole, played by uh, Tyrone Power, who's arrested on suspicion of murder after an elderly woman that he was acquainted with uh, was found murdered. Um, he's married, of course, Leonard Vole, and he employs a, uh, an aging barrister, which is Charles Lawton's character, who's re recently recovered from a, having a heart attack. And he's come home in the beginning of the movie, and he has a nurse... <laughs> that a nurse that's been assigned to him to watch over him to make sure he doesn't take on anything too strenuous and he takes his medication, avoids alcohol and, and cigars, and that's played by Elsa Lancaster, of course, who's married in real life to, to, to uh, Charles Lawton. Uh, but she's a, <laughs> she's really, uh, she's kind of, like, she provides a lot of the humor in the movie because, you know, she clashes with um, um, Charles Lawton's character who is trying to, uh, you know, he's trying to recover and you know, his, his name is Sir Wilfred. He tries to recover, but, you know, he still tries to, you know, his doctor has told him to less stress and avoid the alcohol and the cigars, but he's still trying to sneak cigars here and there when he can and drink when he can, okay? And that's when he's recovered, uh, come home. He's um, bought the case by one of his associates. Uh, a friend of his comes to him with the uh, with the case and, and, and brings uh, uh, Leonard Bowl with him. And he introduces the case and tells him about the case. And at first he says, well, listen, I can't really uh, do this, but I know an associate of mine that can uh, help you with this. And he brings him over, and that's John Williams, actor John Williams. And and basically what happens is, you know, he tells the story, let it bold, and how he, he's basically, he's married, you know, to this German woman that he met during the war. And, he, you know, he's... He's not really, he's had uh, jobs here and there, and he's sort of a part-time inventor. And he tells the story about how he met this uh, rich lady one day while looking in a hat store for a, a present for his wife. And he kind of struck up a friendship with her, and he frequently went over to her house to play cards with her and listen to music and stuff. And, of course, this lady was a rich widow. And, of course, um, at this point in the story, he's not, a, he's not arrested for the murder. Uh, okay, he's just... You know, an advice of the lawyer tells him, listen, you should maybe, you know, the police may, you know, so it's, it's good to get a, a, a real good lawyer. And, you know, since Charles Lawton's character has a really good reputation, he says you should employ him. And then while he's discussing the case with him, the cops do come to his house and do arrest him because they find out later, of course, that this rich widow had changed the will and did leave him a great sum of money. Okay, so he's the more likely suspect. But he, you know, he says, listen, I have an alibi. I got home at a certain time before the murder, and my wife can vouch for me. And that wife is played by Marlene Dietrich. And to say their relationship is unusual is to say the least, and I don't want to spoil anything more about that. But basically this story is about Charles Lawton's character defending Tyrone Power's character. And the witness for the prosecution is that his wife, Marlene Dietrich, is called by the prosecution. Uh to testify against the husband. And there's a lot of twists and turns in this story, but it's so entertaining. And all the actors, especially uh, Charles Lawton, who's great, his banter between him and Elsa Lancaster, the nurse, is great. And his courtroom 
uh, performance is fantastic as well. And Marlena Dietrich is out of this world as the wife, who's so seemingly devoted wife. Uh, she's her performance is just outstanding. And Tyrone Power, a lot of people say this is not a good role for him, but I think he played the part very well. And I think because if you watch the movie, you understand what I mean. That his character is supposed to act a certain way, and especially when he's in court. And I think he does act the way he's supposed to act. Okay, and it's a really good story, and it has a great, you know, it's great drama, and, and there's a great something towards the end of the movie. There's some, uh, there's a kind of something that happens, which affects sort of the ending, and, and the ending is fantastic for this movie. And it, I just remember, it, especially the ending, I remember that. But this movie is outstanding. It's definitely a fantastic adaptation by uh, uh, Billy Wack, Billy Wilder, and the Blu-ray. Probably looks fantastic on this uh, Blu-ray for this, and definitely one of the better movies that I think Billy Wilder has done, which is saying much because Billy Wilder has directed some really great movies. But this one, I just found this movie outstanding and just very, very a great drama and great performances by you know by the whole cast. And I'm gonna give uh, Witness for the Prosecution a nine out of ten. That's how good I think it is. I would definitely highly recommend you get this movie. I think it finally just came on Blu-ray, and it's fantastic. And this this should have a Criterion addition to this because this, this the, the movie is just fantastic, and it, you'd like to, you know, you know, get the behind-the-scenes stuff. And there's I, I think on this um, on this um, video they do have a little discussion that, uh, with Bill, with the director. You know, he's you know he's explaining about the movie and how he adapted it and stuff, and about how Marnie and Dietrich brought it to her and her performance and everything else. And it's a really good movie. I definitely highly recommend this. Nine out of ten. Okay, let me know what you think. Have you seen Witness for the Prosecution? What do you think of it? I definitely would highly recommend it. If you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.